Hey everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another memory spread for you and for this week it's going to be March 11th through March 17th which is St. Patrick's Day week and so I wanted to go with something green but I didn't really have or I didn't really find any like specific St. Patrick's Day themed kits that I wanted to get so I decided to pull in this kit from Stickers by Ashley K. I really really love this shop. I've talked about her before but she makes kits that are really unique in designs and so I really enjoy them. Typically when I use her kits I just pick up a few a la carte sheets and that's generally enough for my planning style um so the first page I got are the full boxes and this is as you can see a cactus and succulents themed kit it's so cute and it has two quote boxes this one says wild and free and then this one says love grows here we have some three circle checklists on the side the second page here has eight half boxes. We've got some deco stickers. This one says make today awesome, which is super cute. We've got some water trackers, meal trackers, and then this like vertical washi strip. The last page I got here is the bottom washi and it's so pretty with this watercolor background. Um, and then this little text here says just be yourself. And it also comes with a set of the date covers. So generally what I need to pull in are quarter boxes, um, little labels and things like that. But I do have um, various functional items like that in my collection so I'm just planning to pull those in and yeah I just want to go ahead and get started I'm super excited about planning this week I've held on to this kit for quite some time and I just think it's so perfect for St. Patrick's Day week as usual, I start by placing down my bottom washi, and as I was putting down the piece on the left, I realized that it was cut just a little bit longer than the boxes of the Erin Condren, and I considered trimming off the excess part, but then I decided just to leave it because it wasn't really that much and it wasn't that big of a deal. I placed down one of the quote boxes in the top corner, and then I go ahead and place down all the date covers at the top. I totally forgot to write in the dates, um, so I actually did that off camera at the very end when I was taking photos of my spread. Um, but moving back to my sidebar, I placed down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and then I found this um, habit tracker in my leftovers collection. I placed down this like quarter box that I also found from my leftover stash, as well as a um, six heart checklist, but I ended up replacing that box with another one because I felt like the heart on the side was just a little weird um, with all the other hearts of the checklist. And um, that is to track my happy moments as usual. And at the bottom, I pulled in a meal little things with a Monday through Sunday tracker that was from my leftover stash. Before I moved on to Monday, um, and this part is a little bit out of frame, but I decided to remove the scalloped checklist and I put down a regular checklist flag instead because I felt like the scallops were just super cutesy and that didn't really go with the theme of the kit. On Monday, I started by putting down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and then I found a quarter box in my leftover stash, and I placed down a um, coffee sticker from a Peanut Butter Taco to mark that I got coffee on that Monday, of course. And then I used a bow paper clip sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark a morning meeting that I had. I had an afternoon IEP meeting, and those are meetings that we hold for students in special education. So I put that on a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. And I'm super sorry if you can hear my cat Pokey in the background. It's just one of those days where I have to leave her outside because she makes too much noise when she's in here with me. So she's just like crying out there. Um, but anyways, at the bottom, I put down a full box and then I moved to the remaining space in the middle. I pulled in a shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop to mark that I did a cardio workout that day. And then I pulled in the scallop label with a film clapper from Mandy Dreams to mark that one of my planner friends, Rachel, um, started her YouTube channel and posted her first video on this day. Um, her YouTube handle is Gathered Plans, and I highly suggest that you guys check her out. Her planning style is gorgeous. It's kind of similar to mine in the sense that it's um, white space planning and kind of done chronologically. So if you enjoy my videos, I think you'll really like hers as well. And and then I used a meal little things to mark that I had a really delicious yogurt snack. And then on the full box, I pulled in a film sticker from Love Shira with a uh, planner girl from Paper Princess Plans to mark that I just filmed that night. For Tuesday, I started by putting down this Today header, and that was a leftover. I used a full box underneath that, and then I pulled in this little things from my leftover stash again to mark a meeting that I had. I used a half box from the kit with another IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark another IEP meeting I had that afternoon. And then I used another glitter header from Mandy Dreams. I think all the ones that I pull in this week are from her shop. Um, I used a quarter box with a um, unhappy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I got home really late that night. I feel like I was at work probably like 11 or 12 hours that day because there was just so much going on. Um, I did a workout when I got home, so I pulled in a shoe sticker, which I think is from Sticker Sis. 
And at the end of the night, um, the newest installment of our favorite show, Terrace House, came out that day. So we were super excited and we binged a few episodes. Um, we tried to space them out, but we really just finished them in like three days. So I pulled in a quarter box with a TV sticker from Hazel Sticker. On Wednesday, I started by putting down a Today header at the top, and then I used a half box and pulled in this Poke Bowl sticker from Hazel Sticker because I went and got Hawaiian food with one of my coworkers for lunch. Um, we just stopped by really quick, and I haven't seen her in a while um, because she actually moved to a different school. She was at my school last year, and yeah, so it's good to see her. I put down a glitter header and a washi strip from the kit. The glasses sticker I just put down is from Laven Forest, and I use that to mark an observation that I had. And underneath that, I put down a full box. And um, the one thing I didn't like was that the full box was right next to the half box that has the exact same cactus on it, and they're right next to each other. But after looking at all of my full boxes, like that was just the best one to pull in for Wednesday. So I decided to just leave it and move on. And when I got home that day, I did a workout. So I pulled in a quarter box, and those dumbbell stickers are from Sunset Sticker. Co. I then put down a meal little things to mark our dinner and I really don't need to mark dinner since I track that on the side but when I have extra space in the day I will mark it just so I can take up some space and at the end of the night of course we watched Terry's house again so I used a TV icon which I believe was for my leftover stash so I'm not quite sure where that was from. For Thursday, I started by putting down a full box at the bottom, and then I moved back to the top and started with a scallop label. I pulled in a small piece of deco from the kit to mark that I had to stop by um, our district office in the morning to grab some things, and then I used a bow paperclip sticker from Fox and Pip to mark a meeting that I had. I then worked on reports for the remainder of the day because I had so many to write. Um, so initially I put that on a flag and pulled in a laptop sticker from Paper and Milk. I do switch that out later on because I felt like there was just too much white space in that section. And as usual, Thursday is our date night. So um, to mark that, I put that on a half box and pulled in a date night sticker from, I think it's from Planning Perks and it's so cute. It's those two little otters that are holding hands. Like I said, I decided to make some adjustments and I lifted up the flag sticker and put down a quarter box to mark that I worked on reports and the new laptop sticker that I put down is also from Paper and Milk. I realized that I forgot to put down a glitter header, so I um, lifted up the half box and put one above it. And then, of course, we watched Terrace House again that night, so I used a TV sticker from Brandy Shop. On Friday, I placed down this to-do header with a full box at the top. I just got these Hello Friday script stickers. Those are from Bookish Plans, and I love her writing. And then I also pulled in these balloon stickers from Kylie and Chaos to mark that. I was really excited. It was Friday. I had a morning meeting that I marked with a bow paperclip sticker from Planner Frenzy. And then I had another IEP that afternoon. It was a very busy week. So I pulled in this IEP flag again from Lily Grove Designs. On Friday, I made a huge mistake and I forgot to turn off the stove in the morning after I made my breakfast. So when my boyfriend got home, the stove was still on and luckily nothing burned down. Everything was fine. Um, but he texted me and I was like, oh my gosh, like I just couldn't believe myself that I had done something like that. I was in a rush. Um, but anyways, I wanted to mark that and I put that on a quarter box with a shocked emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Sometimes the things we put in our planner aren't always positive, but I think for me, that's just like a good reminder to not do that again. Um, and at the bottom of Friday, I put down a half box and then I found this heart checklist that I wanted to use. And so I cut it down to four hearts to mark things that I did when I got home. I decided to switch out the quarter box um, where I wrote the stove incident. And um, I think it was because I wanted more light blue in that section and I just replaced the emoji on top of that. I filled in my checklist and pulled in this workout girl sticker from Thule Plans. And at the end of the night, I actually took a really relaxing bath and listened to Binge Mode Harry Potter, which is like my favorite podcast right now. Um, I'm reading the books while listening to the podcast, so it's taking me a while to get through it, but I just love their analysis and the themes that they present. And the bath sticker is from Hazel Sticker. Moving to the weekend, this kit did not come with a weekend banner, um, or at least the sheets that I purchased did not come with one. So I pulled in this weekend banner from my collection, and that's from Little Red Prince. It's so cute. It says, yes, the weekend, which is always how I feel when we get to Saturday. Um, I pulled in a half box and wrote that it was a beautiful sunny day on Saturday, and um, I just wanted to go out and do stuff because the weather was so nice, and I guess so was everyone else because there were so many cars like on the freeway. Um, but anyways, we just 
decided to check out a couple new breweries in our area. So I pulled in or I put a full box down with a beer sticker from Paper and Milk and it's so cute. It says cheers. Um, and then I found these two hearts from Kylie and Chaos. So I pulled those in as like a little checklist and just marked the breweries that we went to. We then stopped by BevMo to grab some more beer, so I put that on a scallop label and pulled in a little piece of deco from the kit. That night, we went and grabbed dinner with some friends. We got some Japanese food, so um, I used a noodle bowl sticker from a happy blue tree to mark that. And then at the end of the night, they came over and we played some games, so I used a, a little game icon from Hazel sticker to mark that. For Sunday, I started at the bottom of the day. I put down the full box that says wild and free. And then moving back to the top, I first put down this header and um, I used a three circle checklist from the kit to mark some places that we went and also that I worked out. So I pulled in a workout sticker or like that shoe sticker, which is from, I think it's from Planner Frenzy. We then did a St. Patty's Day pool barbecue with our friends, which turned out to be super fun. Again, the weather was so beautiful on this day, so it was like the perfect day to just lay out at the pool. Um, the stickers that I pulled in for it are from Paper and Milk. It's from her beach slash pool day sheet, which is so perfect for the upcoming summer. And also, I wanted to note that um, on the half box, I ran out of space to write St. Patty's, which is how it's supposed to be. So it's just St. Patty Day. And it really bothered me, but I didn't have any more half boxes that I could use, so... Um, I just had to deal with it and after the barbecue we went out to dinner to celebrate a friend's birthday and we got like more barbecue and so we were super super full and to mark that I used this overeating munchkin from Once More With Love. In the remaining sliver of space, um, I just put down a quarter box and marked that I did a YouTube binge when I got home. There wasn't a whole lot of space left. And at this point, I realized that I forgot to use a glitter header on Sunday and I really didn't have a spot for it. So I decided to remove um, workout from my checklist because that's something I track in my sidebar so I don't have to mark it if I don't need to so that I can make some room for a glitter header instead. As usual, the last thing that I do is to fill in my sidebar. So I go ahead and track my workouts, um, my happy moments of the week, and also my dinners. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you all the stickers that I have left, which isn't very much um, because I had only picked up just a few sheets. And yeah, so that is it for my St. Patty's Day week. I really love how this turned out. And I also love that I had an opportunity to use uh, functional stickers for my collection. The only downside about that is that um, the shades of green and blue are like all over the place because they're not like from the kit and so it does look a little bit less like cohesive compared to really full kits where everything comes from the kit but overall I still really really love how this turned out and I really enjoy the process of um, just pulling things in from my collection so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this as well thank you so so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time bye